What's up guys, Siobhan here back with a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys 25 over 25 hidden features in iOS 11. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. What's up guys, this video is brought to you by Textify, an iOS and Android app that turns voice messages you receive into a text format. So Textify works with WhatsApp, iMessage, Therma and Line Messenger. So if you're ever in a situation where you cannot listen to a long voice note, just textify it and you'll be good to go. The first one is the option to be able to type to Siri. So if you're going to settings, accessibility, you'll find the option that says type to Siri. So you just need to enable that. When you hold on Siri again, you'll be able to talk to Siri by typing. Next up, we have a customizable control center. So with the whole iOS 11 thing going on, the biggest thing to me was the control center, but I thought that was it until I found out that you could customize your control center and add more icons. So all you need to do is just go into settings, control center, and then you'll be able to add or remove actions. So screen recording is a new action that they added with this new customizable control center feature. It also records sounds and all of that. It looks beautiful. This is one of my favorite changes in iOS 11 and I definitely think, yeah, that's the best one to me. Next up we have one-handed keyboard and iOS 11 brings one-handed keyboard mode for iPhone 6 and higher. So if you have like a uh, 5 and lower, it won't work. So all you need to do is just tap and hold the globe icon, then tap the left or the right docked icon to engage the one-handed mode. Next up guys, we have unified notifications. So you'll now be able to access all notifications from the lock screen in an empty space. So all you need to do is just swipe up to see the notifications. Honorable mentions, you can now flick keys in the iPod. I wish that came over to the iPhone, but no, it's just stuck on the iPad. So all you need to do is just swipe up onto any key to type the alternative character. In iOS 11, we also got a redesigned storage management tab. So the storage and iCloud management tab, you should say, is just called now iPhone storage. I don't know why, but I mean, it's shorter, so yeah. But as I said before, guys, it's redesigned and it now shows a storage bar at the top, much like iTunes, and the apps are listed based on storage space use. You'll also see when the app was last used. So in theory, you could now automatically uninstall unused applications. So there's a new option in the iPhone storage section that lets you automatically uninstall all apps when you're low on storage. This only uninstalls the app, the app data, and your documents will be saved. So you can do this on a per app basis for the detailed view of the app. So as I said before, if you try to delete the app, you can see the offload app part. So this part will just free up storage used by the app, but it keeps the data. So I sound like I'm repeating myself, but I just want to get it clear because I think I didn't say it properly. Another obvious change is bolder text everywhere. So if you look on your keypad, if you look on your contacts, if you look at your phone, if you look at your favorites, you realize that most of these text, the font looks bold and you can find that in the app store. Everywhere you look, you'll find bolder texts by default. I also realized that Siri and the search settings are now unified and they're, yeah, unified means together. So that means in settings, there's a new section called Siri and search that merges the Siri and search sections together. We also have a new accounts and password section. So in this section, you could go into settings and you find accounts and password. It gives you access to all the iCloud and mail accounts. You can also access passwords saved in Keychain after authenticating. Safari also got another installment which is called prevent cross-site tracking. So there's a new toggle in Safari. If you go into the settings, it's called try to prevent cross-site tracking and it's enabled by default as well. We can now even scan QR codes within the camera and this is so cool. Like for example, you can see this product I have right here, shout out to Munchpack for sending this in. But if you just open the camera up and then you point it at the QR code, it automatically scans it and gives you an option to touch the banner. Then you'll jump onto the Safari page and you'll be where the QR code wanted you to be. We also have password autofill for third party apps. 
So now iOS 11 supports the option for third party apps integration for password autofill. This means that like in the future, we can see one password integration, which is definitely a go. And there's also another AirPod settings. I don't have an AirPod, so I can't show you guys this, but you can now customize the double tap gesture for both the left and right AirPod. What this means is that you can set one to engage Siri while another for play and pause. So that fixes the issue that everyone was complaining about in the first place. Another welcome feature is automatic setup. So iOS 11 will make the process of upgrading to a new phone much easier. So during the setup, you'll be able to transfer information like your password, your messages, and apps using the automatic setup feature. Just bring your old phone near to the new phone while you're prompt during the setup. And that's what the end. If you guys are watching my stream, you'll see the N NFC thing. Everyone was asking what does NFC thing for, so I think that's what the use went towards. Next up, another obvious one is the files app that we all have on our home screen. So this file app definitely replaced the iCloud drive, but it doesn't really dig deep enough. But it's just a start. We can also do live photos during FaceTime calls. So there's a new toggle in the FaceTime settings for live photos during call. This feature will allow you to capture an animated live photo during a FaceTime call that will automatically be saved in the photos application. We also have Smart Invert. So a lot of people will be starting to clickbait about Smart Invert, telling people that it's night mode, but it really isn't night mode. So if you go into the accessible part and then you go to display accommodation, then you go to invert colors, you'll find a new option called Smart Invert. It inverts the color for only UI elements and not the images or the media. So right now it's just the closest thing we have to dark mode. So another obvious feature I found out was that the calculator app and the icon got a refresh or a redesign. So there's no a new redesigned icon for the calculator app and also the UI was redesigned as well. It has a dark background with the orange again. Apple is working with the orange and black and it also has rounded buttons same as if the passcode looks just like the passcode lock screen but yeah that was over 25 or 25 hidden features that i found out in ios 11 i'm still on the hunt looking for new stuff so if you guys find anything please let me know and if you didn't watch my video on how to install ios 11 for free please go ahead and do that right now link first link in the description and always guys love peace and tweaks so, oh yeah don't forget to subscribe please subscribe and like the video let's hit 100 likes on this video guys always love peace and tweaks i'm out mm -hmm.